Hey everybody, welcome back. Today is day seven of our first batch of 12 eggs that we have in the Matacoops incubator. So today is the first day uh, for candling. Now, uh, that's actually a lie. I candled these the day that I started them to look to see if there's any imperfections. So uh, a couple of things to remember about candling. Number one, white eggs are a lot easier to see through than brown eggs. Um, I have brown egg layers, so it's harder to see through the eggs. Um, number two, especially if you have brown eggs, day seven is probably about the first day that you really want to take them out and look to see what's going on. Uh, that give the, the uh, embryo a chance to start to grow so you can tell what's happening in there. So uh, I would recommend waiting until day seven. You can probably get away with a few days earlier maybe if you have white eggs, but um, day seven is, is kind of the sweet spot for me. So uh, that's what we're doing today. Uh, the first day that I did candle them, I found that one of them had a crack. It, it was really practically invisible when you look at it. You can't tell that it's a crack, it just looks like maybe a smudge. Um, but when I saw that crack, I wanted it to keep an even, an even dozen eggs in the incubator, so I decided to try to uh, seal this one up. And the way that I did that was I melted uh, a candle. Uh, in this case, I just used a stick candle and I, I lit it and I dripped the wax onto the crack. Now, I would have preferred to light a candle and then dip the egg in the wax just to get a good even coating uh, but the only one I had was a really strong scented candle and I did not want to do that I just want to keep it a, a, a no scent uh, as pure wax as I can get and so I just drip that on seal it off um, a cracked egg will let the moisture out it will let the bacteria in so the wax is going to seal that so that the moisture will stay in and so the bacteria won't uh, go in and infect that egg uh, and ruin it and kill the embryo. So uh, that's what we got going on now. I'm going to show you um, what the incubator looks like and we're going to do some candling and see what we see. Now as you can see these egg trays are made with little feet on the bottom so you can just sit them straight on the table and so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take these trays and I'm going to put them over on the table uh, so that I can put the lid back on this incubator and then we'll start candling. All right, and before I turn off the lights, I just wanted to show you, uh, I got the lid back on here. Here's the candler, uh, and all I got to do is push this button to turn it on. Um, so I'm going to turn off the lights, grab some eggs, and start putting them on here and see what we've got. So the first thing I want to do before we get started with candling the eggs from the incubator is I want to take out an unincubated egg and show you what that looks like. Um, and even with brown eggs, I have uh, one hen that lays a... Uh, a darker brown egg and then one that lays a lighter so if we put a lighter egg on here this is unincubated you see how that glows all the way through and all the way around um, there's nothing growing in that egg it's just it looks like a like a little orange light bulb uh, this is the darker one all right, so you see it's a little, little bit darker. Uh, trying to see through it. This one is very speckled. So that's what it looks like without being incubated, without any growth in it. Just a little orange light bulb we have on top. Now that you've seen that, I'm going to bring over a tray of the incubated eggs. And let's just take the first one out. All right. Now, you see how much darker this one is? And I don't know how well you'll be able to see, but we'll, we'll try to get in here. Uh, you can definitely see that there's mass in here. Something is growing. Uh, you see this right here, this line um, that goes around? This is the air sac. That's that's the air inside the egg. That's why we point it uh, pointy and down so that we have this nice big air sac here. Uh, if you can see, there are blood vessels. Blood vessels running through there. Um, that should be our little embryo right here. So this egg is growing, is developing. Uh, n nothing that I'm worried about with that right now. Uh, one thing to say about these 
x-rays is there's no dividers in them so when you take an egg out they all kind of fall over so be careful uh, you don't want your eggs to crack alright so let's look at egg number two <coughs> Oh, and my candler went up. Alright. Egg number two. Uh, same thing. Uh, if you can see it, there's some, some little uh, blood vessels in there. There's the air, air, air sac down there. Uh, so we definitely got some growth in this one. got some imperfections in it but again a nice dark egg showing that we have growth we have blood vessels okay this is good you see this right here that's the embryo. Um, that appears to be the eye of the little chick. See if we see any movement. Little, just a little bit of movement. I don't know if you can make that out or not. This one's really speckled, hard to see. I do I see that there's a mass here. This one is not as dark uh, of a mass as the other ones. I can't really tell a whole lot with this speckling. Uh, there's there's our embryo. It, it's moving. Let's see if you can see it move. You, know, you see that? It's a little chicken moving around in that eggshell. So we got some good life in this one. That is one active chick right there. Okay. Oh, does anybody recognize this from the eggs that we did to begin with that are not incubated? All right, so all right, there's the yolk. That's the yolk of the egg right there. Uh, this egg, there's no veins, there's no growth whatsoever. This egg right here is not fertile. So uh, that one's coming out, which means we now have 11, 11 eggs in the incubator. All right, so this tray is done. Minus one egg. So, um, I like to keep these upright. See if they'll stay that way. So, I'm just going to lean the eggs a little bit. I still want that pointy end down. So, I'm just going to lean them just a little bit uh, to see if we can keep them standing up. All right, egg tray number two. Uh, let's, let's throw this cracked one on there, the one with the wax. And you can see, it's just a horrible, horrible wax job. But uh, let's throw that on there. See what's going on with it. All right. Uh, that's coated around all that crack, so there's nothing there. Um, I'm a little worried about that line right there. Let's see if we can find some. I mean, I see blood vessels. Uh, 
Uh, I don't see an embryo at this point. I do see blood vessels growing through there. That's a dark spot there. That could be the embryo. I just I don't like that dark line running around there. Uh, that could mean that this egg started to grow but then died. Um, I'm going to keep it in there uh, a little longer just to make sure because it, it could at this point it could just be the development um, I would really know more if I could see an embryo in here it's just a little hard for me to make out exactly what's going on in there right now so this one's going to get another week and then we're going to come back and see what's happening um, I just overall this may not be encouraging the, and the blood vessels are still intact down at the bottom so we'll revisit that one uh, next week another good looking egg um, you see the air pocket air sac down here um, you see this is dark all around um, oh, right there we have the embryo so I do see I do see that the embryo is forming don't see any movement from it really yet at the moment all right there's some slight movement yep all right so we got yep we got some movement and some activity See that little cheeky move? All right. It's got life in it. Do another egg on there. Uh, that one seems to be doing okay. So, definitely some growth. See at week two whether it continues. number 11 oh, that's the egg turner um, yeah, it goes off every hour and turns the eggs I, I can't see a whole lot in here because of the speckling but there's definitely some growth in there so nothing I'm worried about at this point <coughs> and last but not least Egg number 12. Oh, yep, look at that. Definitely some good signs from that one. Here's our embryo right there at the edge, right there at the side of the egg. Got blood vessels around. See what it's doing, see if it's just chilling or if it's going to move around for us. Oh, there it went, it jumped. Yep, oh, yep, it's moving now. Okay, so there we go. Um, week number one in the books. We have some growth. Uh, things are looking pretty good. We had one unfertile egg that we went ahead and took out. Uh, and we have one that may be questionable, but we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, if that egg had a definite blood ring, and that's just that dark ring that goes all the way around the egg here, if that had been the case, uh, that would mean that the embryo had died. The blood vessels had kind of floated up to the top there and formed that ring. We won't take that out and um, dispose of it because um, with that, that death, uh, of that embryo, the egg will start to grow bacteria and uh, you, you look at potentially bursting or cracking and then contaminating other eggs in there so you would definitely want to take that out. Uh, same with this unfertile egg. Unfertile? Infertile? Anyway, this egg is infertile. Maybe it's unfertile. 
but it's definitely infertile. So this egg, we're not going to leave in there because it's not going to do anything except uh, hold the other eggs up. And it definitely has the possibility of growing bacteria and um, cracking or, or bursting as well. So that's coming out. So week one, looking good. We'll follow up uh, in seven days for week two and see how everything else is going. Uh, so far, so good with the Matacoops Incubator. We'll see you guys next time. Make sure you like, subscribe if you want to keep watching to see what we end up with.